I don't really know. But here's the key. I'm a Doug Buck John. It's on the low end. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to some Corbin. Big B's Tasty Nuts. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon, follow us for coming about the Kinesis Club. Also, on first YouTube channel, links in the description below. Did you see the tweet? Do it. About who would be our dream sponsor to say our stupid reactions is brought to you by, and you fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. So some, obviously, the most popular ones were Hajimola, mm -hmm. Parley G, yeah. Old Monk, yeah. and then somebody put Big B's Tasty Nuts. Every video is sponsored by Big B's Tasty Nuts. We actually, we actually do. Uh, so today we're reacting to a, a trailer that came out a few days ago. It wasn't subbed, which is why we didn't get to it. And then our, our team, our lovely team subbed it. Uh, but I know a lot of people have been screaming at us. Yeah, which by the way, if it's a popular video and we haven't reacted to it, it's typically because it's not subbed and we're waiting for the magnificent team to sub it like this. Uh, so this is called Chi... 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 With uh, Amadak Pak Chun. And uh, Imran Hashmi, whom we've seen in a few songs. We just saw him recently. I think it's always blocked, and so it might be in, on the channel eventually, but he looks like Colin Farrell. Yep, you can say that every time you see him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't know if he likes look that, look, uh, looks like that here, uh, but I don't know what this is about. I don't have a synopsis. I don't have notes. I don't have anything. So I guess we'll figure out after. Yeah, I don't know. I remember seeing this. I, I'm happens all the time. I'll like something on Instagram mm -hmm. and it's clearly the trailer. Yeah. No, but I won't watch the, I won't even watch the Instagram post because it's part of the trailer. Here we go. I agree. <laughs> Oh, nice beard. I feel a criminal. Nani, false. How come you have a big ad agency that you found? Oh, good, sir. Cigarette case, man. What? Me. No friend. I see Kuli Kitabo, man. Why is it just keep out? We are Aksar Shaun to a Katuja. Oh, Kanaka, what are you doing? Game Kilter. Kanzaki. Ha, Katranja Tash. A sleek hair which are here. Mock track. I want to tell you something. In software. I'm here to say, but I'm Maza. I got to. What are you doing? Bullshit. <laughs> this decadence of human values has to stop. You could be crazy. Tell me, Bucky. Just so much Ah, thank you. So the, it's called Faces. Faces, yeah. And sorry, I saw our two subbers for that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Real quick. There we go. 
Dr. See how quick it was? It was like they left it on the, you guys left it on the screen for like one second. Uh, Dr. Shashidar and Himanshu. Thank you so much. Thank you for your work on that. So interesting. So it seemed to be almost kind of like uh, like almost pink. No, no, no. The what's the other one with Tepsi? Uh, um, um, Badla, Badla. Where? Well, there. That's more of like a, a question. This is. It seemed more like they were preparing him for court. Yeah, it actually kind of feels like it's almost. A, it's a. To give it a description, I'm not saying this is what it's a comparison. This looks very original, but like genre wise and stylistically, it's bad love meets knives out. Yeah, meets I, I have a feeling there's a twist in here. Um, I'm very interested. So it's directed by Rami Jafuri. I don't know that. Uh, I'm gonna talk about trying to start filming mystery thrillers, so it's a mystery thriller. Is it now just because of the success of Knives Out that everything that's like in a house and they're looking for, like it's like a murder mystery, that it's going to be compared to Knives Out? Sure. For the next couple of years. Because there hasn't been anything like Knives Out. That was one of the reasons it was so popular. Yeah, because we kind of got a while. We kind of got away from murder mysteries that were like that. Yeah. For a while. But now it seems like there's a bunch. Yeah, because of. People yeah, try to emulate the success of well, a film and, like and that. it's because most stories like that, I think, for the most part, at least in American cinema, have fallen into the horror genre. Yeah, uh, and you don't get the murder mystery, who done it, like you know, um, like that. Or we've referenced several times Clue. Yeah, you know, those those kinds of films. With Clue is funny. This doesn't look like it's no. same with Knives Out. Knives Out has a lot of comedy in it. Yeah, but then it's still like no. This looks like it's gonna get creepy. Yeah, and. I want to see Big. I love Big B. Uh, <laughs> he's such a different actor too than he was when he was younger. Obviously, he's, he's had to obviously change. You're. It's it's one of the benefits of getting older mm -hmm. for both men and women. And thankfully, it's changing a lot in American cinema for women. It wasn't always that yeah. way. It used to be when you hit forty, your career was over. You're done. And it's not anymore. The the the, the Unless great you suck at acting. Yeah, true. But the great <laughs> thing about being an older actor is that you become what if you were a romantic lead. You, you're now suddenly okay to be a character actor. It used to be, if you're in your 40s or 30s and you're the romantic lead, we don't want to see you as a character actor, yeah. even if you love being one. But when you hit 50 plus, especially his age, when you're in 70 and 80 range, you can take any role you want. Yeah. Most interesting, quirky, weird, have fun with it. I, it wouldn't surprise me to find out that he's having more fun now than he ever has because he's established, so he doesn't have any of that, right? He doesn't have any of the pressure. He doesn't have to think about the box office. He doesn't have, he's just a respected actor who just does what he does because he loves it. I think if there was like um, a remake of like Batman, like Christopher Nolan's, I think he'd be a good uh, Jeffrey, or not Alfred. Oh, yeah, he would. You know what else? I had this thought recently. A film that I would like to see done, and you could have Farhad Akhtar in the lead. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait for Tufan. Is I'd like to see uh, an Indian version of Rocky. We, we might get it. And I'd like to see Big B play Mickey. <laughs> the former I, boxer training. I don't think he's nimble enough. You, you know, know who I think would be good? As, it doesn't as, have to be nimble. As Mick. Um... What's his name? Flies in the end. Uh, Sanjay Mistra, right? Is that his name? Flies in the end. That the film we saw. Oh, oh, got it. I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but Sanjay Mistra. Yeah, I think he could probably play a good Mick. Yeah, I would love to see Big B. But that that would be my yeah, preference is I to guess. see Big B be him. But we might get like at least a Rocky because with with, with Farhad Akhtar as Rocky great. and Radhika Apte as Adrian as Adrian. Who would you get to play Polly? No, I don't think Radhika Apte would play Adrian. No? Adrian's too innocent. Radhika Apte, she always has this danger about her. She could still do Oh, I, I, there's nothing the woman can't do, but I, I would probably choose somebody different in that role. Um, Alia? Might be too young. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess Kulky? they do start really... Kulki could do it. Anybody around her age, Topeka, um, Tapsy, of course, could do it. Uh, I want to see more of Tapsy. We haven't seen yeah, Tapsy in a while. Yeah, Tapsy. 
Tax and she has a couple a films coming agent. out this year. It feels like we haven't seen a lot of people because a lot of people's new films got pushed. Oh, you know who could be Polly is uh, our dost. Which one? Pankaj? Uh, the first who ever called us. The, yeah, the first one who ever called The first one who ever called us dost was Pankaj. Well, we're getting lots of films, man. There's a bunch of new films coming out at the end of April. It's, it's, it's quite exciting to actually have new films again. It feels like we've been, yeah, like, like, whatever the word is. You were, you were saying the right word, deprived. Deprived. Yeah. I was going to say depressed for some reason. Well, being with you is depressing. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film down below. Tuk mata cerdik.